In this video, I'm going to do this freehand snowflake winter mani. Let's dive right in. Hey guys, it's Claris. Welcome back to my channel. So to start off, we're going to use my UNT peel off base coat and I'm applying this to all my nails. Now this is my Puin latex cuticle guard. It's really cool how this works. So you paint it on your skin and then you can peel it off later and it makes cleanup a lot easier. So anyways, I'm taking my dark blue polish and just forming a simple French tip on the thumb and then the ring finger. Now this is Butter Please by Essie and if you kind of layer it on, it is opaque in one coat. For the middle finger, I am painting it just plain blue. And then I'm taking my Silver Hollow, this is from Color Club, and I'm painting the pointer finger and then the ring finger with this. It is a little bit sheer on that first coat, but after going in with just a little more, it still dries pretty quickly and then it just needs one more coat after that. Alright, so that's on the pointer and the pinky. So now I'm taking a small paintbrush and I'm going to dip it into some white acrylic paint. And what I like to do to make the end of it more precise is kind of brush both sides of it against the side of the container as you saw me do. And I always like to practice on a notepad or on my mat before doing it on the real thing just so I get a feel to what I'm trying to go for. So I'm going to start on the thumb by painting a single line down the nail like that. And then I'm going to put a line across that. And then another shorter line in between that. I'm just basically making a very simple snowflake. And then I'm adding a few details to the ends, and that's it! So I'm going to do that on my ring finger. Hey guys, what's your favorite Christmas color? There are so many to choose from. I like silver and white, but share your answer below. Now I'm going to go and make a little smaller snowflake in the corner. You can do this if you want to, you don't have to. I just thought I'd add a little bit more detail. And I'm also going to do that on the thumb. There we go. So this is what we have so far. Now I'm going in with a second coat for the two hollows as they have dried by now. And I'm also going in for a second coat with the blue on the middle finger. Now you're going to need a small dotting tool. This one is from a set I got from Twinkle Tea. So I'm just dipping it in the white acrylic paint, just practicing a little bit on the notepad, and then I'm just adding some randomly all over the two snowflake nails. Pretty simple. So now I'm taking my top coat. This is my Sesh Beat top coat, and it does a pretty good job not smearing if you do get a nice good drop of it on the brush. So applying that to all the nails and then when that dries, I'm going to take my jojoba oil. I did have to use acetone a few times during this just to clean it up. So this is always a good thing to do after doing that just to rehydrate your nails and cuticles. Alrighty, so the last little touch is I have some rhinestones and I'm just going to try to figure out what look I like best. I always like just to set the rhinestones on the dry nail just to see what it looks like before actually gluing it on. So now I'm taking my clear polish. It's from Revlon and I'm just putting a little dot of it wherever I need to put the rhinestone. And when you kind of press it down into that, it kind of helps seals it in a little more too. So for all the nails, I'm applying it at the cuticle, but for the two snowflake ones, I'm putting the gem right in the center of the biggest snowflake. Okay, so the manicure is finished. I hope you enjoyed watching the tutorial. Next time for a subscriber request, I will do a water marble design, but with a Christmas twist of course. So hit the notification bell to be notified for when I post that. And here are the comment shout outs for this video. Thank you so much everyone for your support. And if you'd like to bypass the YouTube notification system, I have an email list that I send out my videos every week. So you can sign up for that in the description if you'd like. There are also links below for my other videos, resources, and links to some products that I use. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like below. If you're new here and you'd like to keep in touch, feel free to subscribe and click the bell for notifications when I post every Wednesday and Saturday at 3pm EST. Comment below your thoughts on this manicure. Remember that a smile is the prettiest thing you can wear. So I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. You're really the best and have a magical day.